All right, so I want to now talk about the composition and the density of these planets. So uh, first of all, let's try to understand the color of the planets. We'll talk about this in a little more detail later. Um, but basically, what we're looking at on the surfaces of these planets is the clouds that condense in their upper atmospheres. And so for Jupiter and Saturn, those clouds tend to be made of ammonia crystals. And so both of them have a relatively yellowish color. On the other hand, Uranus and Neptune contain a lot of methane in their atmosphere, which effectively scatters away a lot of red light and leaves us seeing only the blue that remains. So um, the overall difference here is due to the composition of the clouds, but those are a very small amount of the overall atmosphere. When we look at the composition of all of the Jovian planets, they're mostly made of the gases hydrogen and helium in approximately similar ratios as the amounts that we see in the sun. So they, they're basically made of the most abundant materials that were in the solar disk generally. Um, I think on the pre-class quiz, I had a mistake and it said that helium was the most abundant gas. That's not true. Hydrogen is the most abundant gas in all of the Jovian planets. Okay. They also contain materials which astronomers call ices and rocks. And when astronomers say ices, they mean molecules uh, where, well, they just mean molecules. So materials where instead of it being individual elements like hydrogen and helium, they've actually combined together to form mul you know, multi-atomic molecules. So things like water, methane, ammonia, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, all, all the types of uh, molecules that you might see, those are called ices. And then rocky materials to an astronomer just means um, elements that are heavier than about helium. <laughs> so everything uh, would be considered rocky, even though for us it wouldn't be a material that we would recognize as a rock. Okay, and for the Jovian planets, mostly what we see other than hydrogen and helium is compounds that contain hydrogen. And that's just because that hydrogen was around. And so when it's possible for elements like carbon or nitrogen to form molecules containing hydrogen, they'll do so because there's a lot of hydrogen readily available to form those molecules with. Um, so this is in contrast to um, a lot of what we see on earth, which is a lot of oxygen containing compounds, right? Uh, such as oxygen gas, but also CO2, uh, all the Jovians contain more hydrogen compounds than, and basically no oxygen compounds. Okay, um, so I'm gonna focus first on this density of Jupiter and just kind of pick it out and try to untangle what it means a little bit. So its density is 1.3 grams per centimeter cubed. This is a little bit higher than water. And its composition is 90% hydrogen, 10% helium. And when we look on earth at standard temperatures and pressures, meaning room temperature and sea level pressure, we see that the density of hydrogen is eight times 10 to the minus five grams per cubic centimeter and helium 1.64 times 10 to the minus four grams per cubic centimeter. So those are way lower than the density of Jupiter overall. So this is kind of a puzzle, you know, if Jupiter is a gas giant made of mostly hydrogen and helium, why is its density so much higher than either hydrogen or helium. 